In this video, we're gonna be talking about mulch, the different colors and styles, and how much you should charge for installing mulch. Let's get started. In my hand, this is a double shredded hardwood mulch. We charge $120 per yard installed. That means price of labor, picking up the mulch, or having it delivered onto the job site and installed in the garden beds is $120 per yard. If you install 10 yards, that's 1200 bucks. You know, I like to do a discount with the customers. Actually, I haven't done it at all now in a whole year, but it's if it's anything over 10 yards, you'll knock it down to hundred bucks a yard. If the customer thinks it's too expensive, if you're putting a whole lot of mulch in, I mean, you're gonna make money. Now, I started out installing 60 bucks a yard, then 70. Then I finally got the guts up to charge $80 per yard. And I got on the phone with a buddy of mine who's got another landscape business, was in the game longer than me. He's like, bro, we charge hundred per yard. My mind was blown. I couldn't believe that you could actually get away with charging a hundred dollars. He goes, all day, what are you, it was, he's like, what are you talking about? It was normal to him. And in that moment, I borrowed his like certainty. I borrowed his certainty because it was totally normal. He was talking to me like I was crazy. And I had to accept that the thoughts in my head was totally false. So I got my guts up. I'm like, well, I'm gonna do 85 a yard. I lied to him. I was like, I'll do 100 a yard. I brought up to 85 a yard, the customers didn't care. And I noticed it was my own fear. So the next year, I went up to $100 a yard, but I scripted it out in my head. I rehearsed it as being normal. So I tried it out with the customer. We're walking around the property, and the customer's like, okay, we need mulch for these garden beds. I said, all right, it looks like you need about 10 yards of mulch. I'll get a better measurement, but about 10 yards, it's 100 bucks a yard. And then this and this, and I just went on like it was totally normal. The customer didn't even budge. I thought it was a fluke. So I started, sh I started doing this with all my new customers, and before I knew it, I noticed the customers didn't even know. They didn't even care. Here's the thing. I think if you're charging under 100 bucks a yard, you're undercutting and undervaluing yourself because of all the administrative work and everything that goes around. You're not just putting mulch on the ground. Right? You're running a luxury service. And it's important that you need to make enough money not only to pay all the overhead and cost of goods sold and the bills in your business, but to also pay yourself, to pay employees, to pay your taxes, and to have left money left over so you can go out for a steak on a Friday night. So, if you've got red mulch, black mulch, brown mulch, dark wood mulch, shredded pine mulch, undyed hardwood mulch, all these different mulches. I charge the same per yard for all of them because some customers get different mulches and it all just equals out for me. I don't care if this is an extra $2 per yard for the fancy stuff. I just charge now, for the last two years, $120 per yard of mulch installed, right? There's single shred, double shred, triple shred. Triple shred is premium, it's very fine, it's soft, and it just, it looks really nice in the garden beds. Beautiful, but the downside of triple shred mulch is it can break down faster into compost and then be an environment for weeds. So the double shred is nice, but it's kind of chunky. Uh, here's, see these chunks in here? In this garden bed? That's a double shred. Now single shred is just like way too big. It's chunks like that big and you'd put it in a commercial lot. I think you should have a standardized price chart in your business of all your materials, mulch included. So when you talk to any customer anytime, it's the same price all the way across the board. I get a lot of questions in my YouTube comments about mulch. People say, what do you mean $100 installed? What does that mean? That means that the customer doesn't have to do anything but pay $100, you do everything else, the mulch is installed in the bed. Now how big is a yard actually? Let's find out. With mulch, I'm literally walking around looking at the garden beds and measuring it with my eyeballs because I've done it so much. And I always come within a few square feet, right? So I know this would be 0.75 yards. Right here is one third of a yard. In front of all those arborvitaes all over there, literally a quarter of a yard of mulch to put mulch under in front of there at two inches. This garden bed over here. Yeah. 
This would be about a half a yard of mulch at two inches. If I was installing decorative stone, which is way more expensive and a lot harder to get rid of, it's more of an expensive issue, I want to measure that exactly down to the actual square foot. Mulch is a lot forgiving because you can pile stuff on a little thicker or spread it a little thinner to make it match. If you're a wheelbarrow short on a big project, it doesn't even matter because there's probably a couple high spots you can pull from and just make it work, right? If you need a little bit more, you can go get a little bit more if you make a mistake. We've all done that. But when it comes to decorative stone, when you have thousands of pounds and several tons, you want to get it as exact as possible. Decorative stone is a totally different thing, and I'll talk about that in another video, but I do want to say one thing about that here, and that is with decorative stone, if you're doing your first or your first few landscape jobs or you're putting in tons of decorative stone, you'd be better off ordering it in segments. Order the first half, right? Then order another 25%, and then order another 25% however big the job is, you're going to actually go retrieve the last amount of stone to finish. Because what really sucks is if you end up with five tons of too much stone, and if you don't have a machine or whatever, you gotta get all that stuff out of there, and now you're paying and you're paying labor to get it off the property and paying to dump it. Nightmare. One of the other most important questions I get about mulch is what about the garden bed prep? What about weeding and pull, pulling the weeds and edging out the garden beds and cleaning out the garden beds or cleaning out underneath all the shrubs before you put the mulch in? Is that included? You should never ever include that in installing mulch because that's a different service. But you should never ever forget about it when you're giving the customer a quote for mulch. This is how you get into this situation, very common. You quote the customer to put 10 yards of mulch in, and then you get ready to put the mulch in, you go, oh shoot, the garden beds aren't edged. There's a bunch of stuff in the garden beds. Then you're upset because now you feel like you can't go to the customer and knock on their door and say, I'm sorry, your, your garden beds need to be cleaned out here. Um, a lot of times when you're new in the business, you'll just get nervous and you'll eat the cost and you'll just clean them out anyways, or you'll just include the edging for free because you made the mistake and you don't know what to do now, right? And the customer will just, they might just think it's included. Now, if you go do it and you edge out the garden beds, next year, they're gonna expect you to do that again because you did it for free and you weren't even aware because you made a mistake and you were doing something for free because you were afraid to, because you put the cart before the horse, now you've created an expectation and now you've just built that into your system and then weren't even aware of it and it sucks. I've been there. If you're edging out all the garden beds and you, you think it's gonna take you two hours, well, maybe it's gonna cost an extra $240 to edge out the garden beds. If underneath, if a lot of stuff needs to be cleaned out, say, hey, we're gonna have to clean this stuff out and there's gonna be a debris removal fee. It might take an extra half an hour plus the cost it's gonna cost you to dump all the stuff, plus all the drive time to go dump it and clean it up. You don't know how many jobs I've been on where there was literally no edge, and now we're digging out big pieces of sod and we're filling up six, seven, eight wheelbarrows, and it becomes a whole nother half a day just edging out the garden beds. So next time you give a customer a quote for mulch, you gotta go stop and say, okay, you want mulch? Let's talk about your garden bed edges. Is, that, is there edging? Is it messed up? Do you need to repair it? We can do that, or I don't mess with repairs. Figure that stuff out ahead of time, communicate it very clearly to your customer and make sure you're on the same exact page and that it's in writing in the contract because you can't be edging out garden beds for free. Charge them, say, do you want your garden beds edged out? We do a nice deep three or four inch edge. I do a four inch edge straight down and then it tapers back and the mulch sits inside of the edge like a beveled lip. It's nice and clean, it's a pretty look. It keeps a nice delineated separation from the grass and the mulch, right? But I also charge for that. So not only are we putting in mulch in for $1,200, we're also doing $300 in edging, $1,500 to edge out all garden beds, remove debris, install 10 yards of hardwood mulch. Dude, this should be my mulch course, bro.